Keeping your heart right, full of love and empty from bitterness is the secret of receiving from God. Say my amen. Hallelujah. Tulisome wa and I want to read that scripture. It is in the last chapter of Isaiah. Should be 65, right? Or 66. Kuna kitu nataka kuambia hapa. The Lord will bless you. Sixty-six is the last chapter of Isaiah. The Bible says, "Thus says the Lord: Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you will build for me?" This is the Lord speaking. And where is the place of my rest? For all those things my hand has made. And all those things exist, says the Lord. But on this one will I look. Kwa huyu moja nitaangalia mantatazama. On him who is poor and of contrite spirit. And who trembles at my word. Moyo uliombondeka. Ni moyo wa msama. Ni moyo wa kuachilia. Sio kushikilia kila wakati. Today people are dying in church. Mana wamekuja na mizigo na wakarudi na yonyimani. Ni kama they are related to you amu. Wa church in life. Anasemaka utarudi na mizigo yako maana hata sisi tuna yetu ya kubeba. Hmm? Unakuja na mizigo na badala ya kumwatia mizigo yule anayebeba mizigo yetu na masikitiko yetu wewe wajibebea shida zako. Biblia inasema jooni kwangu nyinyi msumbukao na kulemewa na mizigo mizito na anasema ya kwamba nitawapa pumziko nitawapumzisha. Hallelujah. Ruhusu moyo wako ukue mwepesi ili umbebe Mungu. Hauwezi ukabeba Mungu na ubebe watu. Watu watakuchosha. Mimi sipendi watu kunisivusivu by the way. Na sio eti niko na kiburi hapana, nimesaidiwa na Mungu. Maana anayekusifu kesho yake, walimsifu Kristo, wakamwimbia wakasema osana osana aliyeinuliwa juu. Lakini kesho yake ndio waliosema asulubishwe. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Don't seek approval from men. Seek approval from God. Hallelujah. So this woman was full of love. And empty of bitterness. You know you can become bitter because of lack. I am not a prosperity gospel preacher but I hate poverty. Jesus spoke in Isaiah 61. Now those words are repeated in Luke chapter 4 if I'm not wrong. And this is what he said. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. Hallelujah. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to those who are born. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To console those who mourn in Zion. And to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The planting of the Lord. Wewe ni pando la bwana. Mungu anajitawalia sifa kupitia kwako. Kwa hivyo usibebe asira, usibebe bitterness. Mruhusu Yesu abebe masikitiko yako. Wengine wanabeba wanakuwa na asira kwa sababu ya kukosa vitu. Na wivu unaingia. This is what poverty does. Ukienda upate watu ambao wako chini, wanaonea wivu wale ambao wako na vitu. Some people may hate you for no good reason. Just because you are doing well, my brother. Just because you're not a beggar. Just because you have built that good house. Just because you are driving a good car. They hate you for no good reason. You know what the Bible says? Kuhusu Yusuf. Awa jamaa. Walikuwa memchukia. Joseph. Walikuwa na sababu. Awa kuwa na ayo. Na wakati baba yake alikuja na zawadi. Sababu baba ana haki ya kufanya kile ambacho anataka. Nimesoma scripture pale I quoted in the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17. Mungu akisema anawapenda wanaompenda. Kumpenda Bwana ni kujiepusha na mabaya. Ni kutii sauti yake. Anasema I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently shall find me. Kwa hivyo Mungu anawapenda wanaompenda, anajua kama unampenda. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So baba alikuwa na haki ya kufanya kile ambacho kilimpendeza. Baba ni baba. Don't hate your father for no good reason. Even with a good reason don't hate him. Sons don't hate their fathers. Fathers don't fight their sons. We are a family. That what you hate is what you become. Nishawa na makadisa mengi ambao watu wamefungua out of bitterness. Dugu alienda hapo wakambiwa apana, wendi kubiri na manga. Na akavimba kichwa. Na akatoboka ubongo. Kamua tamimi nimepakwa. Naenda unafungua kitu yako kibanda mahali. Out of bitterness. Ndiyo uonyeshe mchungaji wako hata unaweza ubiri. And me I'm very happy because of what we, the foundation that we are laying on this ministry. We will call a spade a spade. Ukifanya dhambi tutakuribioka. We will not call a spade a big spoon. It is a spade. Dhambi ya tutaibatisa, tutahita dhambi. Mane pasipa utakatifu wapendo atuendi heaven. Maana mwenye heaven ni mtakatifu. Sema hallelujah. We must walk holy, my brother, my sister. 
Wewe ukijichanganya ujue Biblia inasema asifichae dhambi zake atafanikiwa. Sio mimi nasema ni scripture. Endelea kuishi katika hali ya dhambi na hautamuona Mungu. That is the word of God. You want to see the Lord, live a holy life. Love him with the whole of your heart. Sema amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na unajua nini cha kanisa? Mungu anajua wanaompenda. Na hiyo jambo hilo jambo linampendeza Mungu. There is a scripture here that talks of King I mean Solomon. The Bible says first uh, uh, first Kings chapter 3 verse 1 Now Solomon made a treaty with Pharaoh king of Egypt and married Pharaoh's daughter then he brought her to the city of David until he had finished building his own house and that he, and the house of the Lord and the wall all around Jerusalem Meanwhile the people sacrificed at the high places because there was no house built for the name of the Lord until those days. The Bible says verse number 3 and Solomon loved the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Solomon loved the Lord walking in the statutes of his father David except that he sacrificed and burnt incense at the high places. Now the king went to Gideon Gibeon to sacrifice there for what for that was a great high place Solomon offered a thousand burnt offering on that altar at Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and God said ask what shall I give you what attracted God in this man was holiness was the love of God for this man the love of God in your life will attract you will attract blessings. We must tell you the naked truth brethren. The Lord has no problem in blessing his people. The Lord is in the, is in the business of restoring his people and manifest, manifesting his power. Hallelujah. But there is something he require of us. Najua wale ambao ni wasomi ama walimu wanasema Hakuna vile utapata jibu if the, when the formula is wrong. Bwana asifiwe. I know it's wrong you agree with me. Hauwezi pata jibu right when the formula is wrong. Unaweza kuwa umeangalia jibu kwangu na ukaandika hapo. Amen. So this woman Use our kindness and wealth to entertain a man of God. Acheni waambie wapendo. Nimesoma maandiko na kuna vitu nimejifundisha. Na kitu moja ni ya kwamba wapendwa when you honor a man of God. Hallelujah. You receive his reward. Bwana asifiwe. Curses are broken not by fighting your fathers. But curses are broken when we honor our fathers. Hapo hakuna amen. Hata kwa wale wanakaa kwa viti za mbele. Unajua wale wa nyuma wanaweza kuwa hawajasikia. <laughs> amen. Curses are broken when you honor your father. Don't fight your father. Mudoka, what killed your father can kill you. You could be saying, Pastor, I am 40 years, my father is at 65, is dying of cancer. It's just a matter of time. Anasifiwe. Mekuambia wengine wanafungua makanisa na bitterness. Oh, huyo mchungaji hakuwa accountable. Huyo mchungaji alikuwa anabeba yote. Yeye anabeba yote ikipeleka wapi? Unaanza hizo story. Na unafungua kitu yako mahali na unaanza hivyo. 
Because kile ambacho kilugula baba yako inaweza kakula. Praise the Lord. Sema amen. This woman alikuwa anamheshimu mtumishi wa Mungu. And the Bible says because of that because of the honor she provoked God's blessing and the Lord gave uh, gave her a child Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kuna kitu umekosa kwa maisha yako Honor the Lord Amen Kuna kitu unatafuta kwa maisha Mheshimu Mungu Dada yangu Love the Lord with the whole of your heart Na ujiepushe na mabaya Leo hii ulimwengu unafikiria kuna wokovu kwa sababu ya kuishi maisha ya kukubaliana I said here the other day Kuna watu hawafuati their convictions Hata kile ambacho ulifundishwa ukaambiwa hii ni dhambi unachanganyikiwa mazai matai nazimika Unajua wengine wanasema mimi siwezi enda kwa mbaa lakini ikiletwa siwezi nikaacha wewe umechanganyikiwa you have a problem Brothers Kolo Mimi siwezi mulete lakini akikuja tutaonana Hujaokoka Just giving an example because that is what young men are doing nowadays. Na kwa sababu wao hawapati mimba, wanakaa tukiasumu wako virgin. Alafu naye Mungu ni nani? Simon ametukumbusha asubuhi hiyo ni Galatians. Yule anasema tusidanganyike Mungu wa dhiakiwe. Akipandacho mtu ndicho atavuna. The other day The other day niliona mtu ameniandikia message. Imagine. Kwa Facebook. Hi Justus. Hey. Muuliza who, who is this? Aniambia jina yake. Alafu alikuwa anafikiria akiniambia ako nje ya inji hata nifurahisha ile ka message ilifuata hapo ni kuniambia ananipenda hai nikamuuliza tena do you know me akasema no have you met me no nikamuuliza how can you love somebody you don't know mimi ni nani Praise the Lord. Sasa ulimwangu umefika hapo, hata mapastors wanapenda. Life iko full of choices. Mdoka. Wanafikiria ati majaribu yataisha yata ukikuja huku. Huku ndio mengi. Unajua huku uko na vitu. Huko ni we ni asla. Ukikuja huku umeanza kuwa na vitu. Bwana asifiwe sana. So I told her later I'm born again and I want pastor that I may get a good man. Nikamwambia inaanza na wewe. Anza kuwa mzuri na uta attract good people. Si uniambia amen hapo si nilimsaidia. Why do you love somebody who is good and you are not good? Kwani hiyo scripture ya Galatians itakuwa imefutika? Mungu adhiakiwi. Amen. Inaanza na wewe you are the change that must change the world. Ni wengine ni opportunist. Najua yeye ndiye alianza. Unajitia moyo hapa yeye ndiye alianza. Mimi sibendangi hizi vitu lakini yeye ndiye alianza. Imaanishi ya kwamba kila kitu ambao inakuja hata chakula sio kila chakula itakuja kwako ukule. Singine unaachana nazo maana zimenajisiwa. Watu mbele ambado amen aiko.
Amen. This woman was a kind woman. And because of her kindness, she attracted the blessing from the Lord. And the Lord blessed her with a child out of her kindness. Amen. Kuna vitu tutapata kanisa kwa sababu kuna kitu ngini tumefanya. There is something you need to do to provoke the outer. Outers are provoked. That is again heavy stuff. Watu wengi ambao walibarikiwa na Mungu sio wale walienda kwa Mungu akamwambia Mungu niko hapa na sina kitu. Mm -mm. Hata wale aliita aliwaita wakifanya kitu. Na Mungu akamuuliza Musa what do you have? Ni nini uko nayo mikononi? Because what you have God wants to use what you have to take you to the next level. So outers are provoked. How do we provoke outers? We provoke outers through our worship. Now this is a Pentecostal church. You may realize we have so many spectators. Now I'm a shopping to our announce one of these days. Usikuja katika nyumba la Mungu ukiwa shambiki. Sisi tunaomba tumeinua mikono wewe unaanza kuangalia huko. Sijui ni nini hapo umepoteza huko juu. Don't be a spectator in the house of God. Be a partaker of his blessing. Come and partake of his blessing. Tukisema watu wakuja maombi. Unakuja maombi. Najua sio kila wakati. Lakini ujiulize. For like six months. Tangu hii mwaka yansa. We have prayers on Friday. Wewe ujawai kuja hata siku moja. Ile at least. Hata kama kuna. Hata kama kuna register. Uwekewe tika. Washirika wa Jumapili ndio wanao fanya kanisa yoze. Apostle utakubaliana na mimi hapa. Hao washirika wa Jumapili ndio wanafanya kanisa isikuwe kanisa. Na ndio maana corona ilikuja wengine wapone. Nilikuwa naona wakati nilikuwa nyumbani watu wanatuma tu vitu ati vile tutaingia kanisa tu kidance. Na nikaangalia hata baada ya kurudi. Si kuona Benson ndio alijaribu Jumapili. So there is what we call the, the ideal and the reality. That was the ideal. Tukirudi huko. Eh, ona vile dance. Nikangoja hata mwenye alikuwa na post hizo na sikuona akifanya hivyo. Outers are provoked. Hallelujah. We need to see to look at three qualities that are essential in every woman or man of God. Hei ita kusaidia sana. When Elisha asked the woman what he could do for her, she simply said, I live among my people. In other words, ni metosheka. Najwa kuna tabia za kiufaume. Tabia za kiufaume siyo kuenda tukiongea kama watu wa ulimwengu. Tabia za kiufaume ni tofauti. Sijui kama uliwai ona our president, ona rebo, ni ona rebo, hiyo ni jina ya chini ama tutunamu, His Excellency, we, mwesa chitakiwa, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Sijui kama uliwai mwana kwa news ya kisimama vya kinungunika. Oh, sijakula. Oh, we, hakuna unga. Hii corona, hai maisha ni ngumu. I've never seen him say that. Hata wakati nakuja kusema hivyo anataka hili to feel na yeye. I mean to feel ya kwamba is part of us. Nimekuja kukumbusha kwamba wewe ni mtoto wa mfaume. Baba yako ameon kila kitu. Sio acha hii tabia ya watu wa huku. Huku chini. Sisi citizenship, citizenship yetu ni, wa, ni ya mbinguni. Na kwa hivyo tabia za huku ni tofauti na tabia zetu watu wa ufaume. Tunatosheka hata wakati ya tuna. 
Tunasema oh is war. Na nyumba imeongezwa kufu lingine hapo. Na ukikuja hapa unainua mikono kabisa. Unainua mikono kabisa unampenda bwana tu kuendelea. Wengine nyumba ikifungwa hata mikono hawezi inua. Hiyo siku utajua something is wrong. Iko chini hata pigiti haenda ni kabisa Unataka simba di Ni nini ndugu uchangamuke nyumba zimefungwa Sasa unataka tufanyie nini Tukulipie nyumba She said I live among my people Nada si you possess hiyo tabia Akikuja hapo na na note kwani ile noti kubwa sana si ni ya 1000. Wengine hata 200 na tosha hata kufuata mwanaume. Na ujui kama ni mume wa mtu 200 tu. Yenye hata iwezi kununulia lunch na ushipe. Huko hapo kabisa umelusi network. Miambili. Don't be cheap. We were bought tulinunuliwa kwa gharama kubwa. Asifiwe. Kuna vitu tukifanya wapendwa kutosheka kutatupeleka kiwango kingine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Kwa sababu you don't do good things for you to get something or to be recognized. Na wewe ndugu ukitenda mema don't be usitake u Ustake ustake maofas Dada akikuomba akikwambia mimi nimepotea nilikuwa naenda plan B plan B kwa umoja by the way sio kitu yangu nasema na umekutana na ndugu pale Jessica Kolo Nikikwambia nisaidie hata kama utampeleka hapo usichukue namba yake Dada alikuwa na shida ajui mahali anaenda huna uhusiano na yeye. Usiniangalie hapo ni kama nakula kiapo. That's how I preach. Duku akija hapa na wakati ni wakati wa fundraiser naona ameandika ame, ame cheka hapa ya pesa nyingi. Usikimbizana na yeye mshirika ati uchukue namba yake. Mtumishi wa Mungu unajua Nisaidia na mbako tafadhali. Menibariki sana. Tenda wema na wenende zako. <laughs> Tenda, tenda tu wema na wenende zako. Hallelujah. Nuku usilipia ndana fea. Na mfuate mfuate. No. Umemsaidia tu ndada. Amen. Even if you are the human resource manager in that company, your people, na usikuwe na string attached. Usikuwe na kitu ambao saa inakaa ni kama utashinda uki, uki wafuata fuata. Na wengine unawaita after five. Sister so and so, please, nione. Na una kitu ya maana, ni ushenzi na upumbafu, umetoboka ubongo. Kaza na Probox. Mwambie mungu wa kusaidia upende Probox. V8 achia wenyewe. Kana asifiwa sana. Praise the Lord. Kana na hiyo tabia. Ivo ndivo watu wa meumbwa. We always love the best. Na ukiona ni kama umevata the best. Kingine ikikuja. Bado usipo saidiwa na mungu kuna tamaa ya hii ingine. Ni mungu wanae tusaidia kutosheka. Praise the Lord. In pouring out a, a love to God's prophet, the Shunamite woman received a blessing she did not even ask for. She provoked the heart of God. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Again, she was persistent. She persisted. Ukisoma hiyo story, ukiendelea pale, kuna wakati kijanaki alikufa. 
Sasa ukasome ukajimalizie hapo. Ukamalizie pale. But she went to the man of God. Na hata wakati Elisha anatumana kwa eli, kwa kwa I kwa, mean kwa Gaius kumwambia enda na huyu mama, enda kwa huyu mama ujue shida ni nini. She still insisted. She told the man of God, "No, I will not leave you. You are the voice that spoke. You are the prophet that prophesied upon my life." Natinashikana na wewe. The scripture says I mean, honor the Lord. I think it's the it's Second Chronicles twenty verse twenty B. Hear, O me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. This woman believed in the prophet, the servant of the Lord Elisha. And it was war with her son. Amen. The devil wants to steal that which belongs to you. Because kile ambacho kimekuja kwa madhabao madhabao itakiweka amen whatever that you receive from the outer the outer will sustain it ndio maana hana alipoenda kwa madhabao akimuomba Mungu kwa ajili ya mtoto alimwambia Mungu nitampeana kwa yale madhabao ndao usibarikiwe na waacha kanisa ulipata ka, ka, kazi ukiwa kanisani ukampata mme kanisani biashara yako ikaongezeka kanisani nimekuja kukuambia kaa kanisani kaa kwa madhabao hapo hatutoki praise the name of the lord hallelujah we always say that an altar that is erected an altar that is lifted is an altar that will rule. Kwa maana sisi kazi yetu ni kuainua madhabao. Kama Mungu miungu za kigeni ziliabudiwa kule nyumbani kwenu ukifika kule erect an altar of God. That altar that is lifted in your family shall destroy any other altar of the enemy. Bible says a thief comes by I mean comes comes only to steal kill and destroy but the Lord Jesus came so that we may have life and have it in abundance Hallelujah The devil will always try to rob you of the blessing of God That is is always self appointed task Yule inasema alikuja kuiba kuua na kuharibu Lakini huyu Yesu alikuja tuwe na uzima. Never settle for anything less than what God has given you. Hallelujah. Kile ambacho unajua hii ni Mungu alinipea. Hallelujah. Shikilia hiyo. Ukijua ni Mungu aliyekupea ndoa. Hata warembo warembo wakuja waina gani? Unajua hiyo ndoa ni yangu. Shida ya watu ni kwa sababu tunakata tamaa kwa rais. Tunafika mahali tunachanganyikiwa. Tunamgoja Mungu tunaona amechelewa. This soon my two man had a persistence that was not weakened by time. The time will come in all our lives church when Satan will attempt to steal something that God has blessed us with. This is the time you and me need to stand on God's word against the devil. Praise the Lord. That is the time you need to stand against the enemy. The Bible says since the days of John the Baptist, the, 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 the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent will take it by force. Hallelujah. 
Sometimes you need to rise early and make a declaration. And tell the Lord, I need you today. I'm getting out of this house. But I proclaim, I claim my blessings. Baraka. Hey, Baba, pia alikuwa marefu. Alimuambia, you will serve your brother until when you will break off the yoke out of your neck. Paka ile siku utachoka. Utauza hiyo kiosk. Paka ile siku utachoka na hiyo ali. Na uvunje ile nila. Tunaweza tukaishi maisha ya kuonewa kanisa kwa sababu ya kutojua haki zetu. Ukijua hivyo kuna maisha utakataa kuishi you will preach to yourself hallelujah you will possess your possessions you will say this is my business this is my marriage i will not allow the devil to rob me my happiness i will stay put praise the lord hallelujah because there are always forces that oppose us Kuna mahali Mungu anataka ukue na kuna mahali pia Satan anataka pia uwe. The plan of God for your life is plan of good. Tells us in the book of Jeremiah 11:29 I know the thoughts that I have towards you. Plans of good and not of evil, plans to give you a hope and a future. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kanisa tushikilie ndani ya Mungu. Tutosheke na zile vichache ambazo Mungu ametupa. Mungu anakusudio la kuturegesha mwaka huu. Lakini kwanza tutosheke na, na zile ambazo Mungu ametupa kuwa na huo moyo wa kutosheka kwa sababu shetani anaweza akakunyang'anya, shetani anaweza akakushawishi ya kwamba kuna mambo mengi hujaweza kupata. Mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya mahali huko. Even as you desire to go to the next level. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, as I finish, verse number 13. The Bible says, therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all things, having done all to stand. I, I can read that verse for the message book, I mean the, the message Bible. At least the letter ile language umeelewa. Naomba tusimame tafadhali. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. This is this is what the, mas, the message Bible says. Be prepared. You are up against far more than you can handle like all the help you can get. Every weapon God has issued so that when it's all over but the shouting you will still be on your feet. Hallelujah. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith and salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Truth, Righteousness, peace, and faith and salvation are more than words. In other words, it is one thing to say I'm a man of faith. It is one thing to say I am born again. But the truth of the matter is this. That brethren, all these are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You will need them throughout your life. 
Hallelujah. God's word is an in, indispensable weapon. In the same way, prayer is essential in this ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Sikia. Achana na hii maombi yako ya siku moja na umerudisha kila kitu. You have given up. Tunapoongea juu ya persistence. Tunasema ni kuomba, kuomba na kuomba na kuomba hata wakati utapata unaendelea kuomba. Because whatever that was received through the altar must be sustained by the altar. Sema amen. Kile ambacho umepata madhabahuni, madhabahu yatakiweka. So hakuna vile utaomba na ukipata u relax. You must sustain it by the altar through prayer. You have trusted God for a job. The Lord will give it to you. But you must keep on praying. Hapo nimesoma imesema Hallelujah. You pray for long. Sio kuomba tu hivyo na umechoka. Na umechoka. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirit up so that no one falls behind or drops out. That is our business. 